take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Horatro. Oh, shit, no. We want to go this way. I almost forgot about our exit, which was over here. Don't forget about the exit, especially after you talked about how great of an idea it was. So let's head on out of here. Back outside, and we can continue lo going through the fields of misery. And that's something that I do like about this, and I know it's probably not fun for a lot of people. Uh, but I do like that there's all these deviations from the main quest. You don't have to go through them. It's probably recommended that you do, but you don't have to. You can avoid all this stuff and and just try to focus on the main quest if you want, but there's a lot of other stuff here for you should you want to go for it. And I like that. Ah, uh, no! Slam! Yeah, down you go. Freaking wraiths. Wood wraiths. What are you gonna do? Ah, traps! There are traps here. Here's another one. You can. I didn't even notice it at first. Uh, so if I step here, boom! It snaps a trap. There you go. It does hit you, and I think it actually causes knockback as well. So you want to keep an eye out for those, of course. Don't let those sneak up on you. Let's go back around here, make sure we kill everything, loot everything. <laughs> oh, my OCD kicks in. Pretty damn good here. Oh, and we have another place that we can go. Scavenger's Den. That killed him are near. I smell their spore. What spore? The hell is that? Savage beast. Oh, shit. Stun. Templar levels up. Very nice. Yeah, I know. Glass star. Nice. Tell me about the lore here. The large sluggish beasts can thrive in any grassland or forest, provided there is enough water. Farmers will recognize these brutes as the savage cousins of the common pack beast, a tame breed that was likely domesticated nearly 2,000 years ago. <laughs> One can hardly imagine the trouble that effort must have taken. Now we have made it to the scavenger's den. Oh, that's right. He leveled up. Uh, what are your skills? Intimidate. That does not sound good. Loyalty. Life regeneration or slow. <laughs> Give me a life, baby. Yes. My power grows. Like this is even a question. Look how much. Look how much he's healing me now. I do have that set so that it actually shows. I like it having that up so I can see what's going on at all times. You know, monitoring numbers, that is something that I am a fan of. Plus 25% more experience, again. Go. Oh, nice. <laughs> Everything dies. They're actually starting to do a little bit of damage on me, as you can see. So, because I don't have life heals anymore, they're starting to, uh, to get to me. I don't have... I don't have life steal. I don't have plus after after a kill. Quill demons. Oh god, still decimate them. But now I do have my Templar healing me at all times, not just every once in a while, all the time now. They're healing well, don't need it. I have regeneration for that now. They did say level 1, so I'm assuming that there's going to be stairs down to level 2. Oh, God. Quill demons. I don't think there were quill demons before. And we have found a pack of blue guys. Oh, shit. Guide my hand. No. What do we got? Jailers. You saw me get jailed there. That's what that's called when they kind of trap me in place. Um... It's good for these guys if they would stay out of my range after they did it, but these guys aren't smart enough to figure that out yet. There we go. Ooh. Another sickle. I will take any sickles that you are willing to give me. I do like sickles. Ah, you don't have anything on you? Come on, villagers. Die with something. Is that too much Are for me, guys? Afraid in battle? No. We've gone over fear. this, man. We are both blessed, then. My 
Faith, yeah, yo, Faith. It's not the same. It's not the same. And this is the way down, so let's finish exploring this place because, once again, there's a path out. Uh, there's a quick path out, so I will be taking that. If I can remember, it's there. Chances are I will forget just a little bit and then go, oh, that's right, it's over here. But hopefully I can remember. Oh, I didn't check on any of the equipment that I picked up. What did I get? Okay, so... The glass star is only for the monk. The eagle orb is only for the wizard. This is not as good as what I have, and it's not even... Plus four strength isn't going to cut it. But like I said before, you can pretty much ignore the white stuff and gray stuff for the most part. As you saw, there's still going to be upgrades every once in a while that you might want to pick up. You know, consider... Uh, replacing with what you got, but in the long one, what you really want to do is make sure you pick up all the blue and up items. Blue, yellow, I think there's orange and purple and red. I think there's red too. Like, there's a lot of levels of items, including stuff that I haven't even seen yet because I have not gotten that far into the game. We got teleporters, vortex, they suck you in. And leather pants. How are those leather pants? That can go away. How are the leather pants? No. No. I can craft stuff that is far better. Don't spit down here. They live down here. That's just mean, man. How dare you not have magic in there? This is... Holy crap. Look at that. Knockback. What are you guys, knockback? Yeah, knockback minions, so there's going to be a yellow one around here. Zarfin! The Hellion. Ah, I absolutely love it. Lucky Leather Hood. I don't think that's going to be that great. No, no it's not. It gives me more gold, but gold's not an issue for me right now. Magic find is, but regular gold? Nah, I'm fine. I am fine. Resplendent Chest! Very nice. Pick up a couple healing potions. Tribal mask I can't wear. Leather pants. Not that great. What am I? I got hide breaches now. Crafted those from my guy. Um, you would normally have to level up your crafting guy. Um, I think after he gets a certain amount of experience. Or it could just be money. Uh, but you definitely have to pay, so that's where most of this money is supposed to be going, I think, is to uh, leveling him up. I think that is far more worthwhile, especially compared to buying stuff in town. That's what you're supposed to be doing, but since my guy's already leveled up... Oh, and by the way, I do have all my stuff from the stash, too. I think I went over that last time. It, it doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel right. And I don't know why. I don't know. And I guess that's it, so... We are ready to leave here once again out to the Fields of Misery. It's on my screen. You think I'd be able to remember that. And my fury has gone away. But once again, the uh, the maximum fury, it's a, it's a nice idea. And of course, it's only for barbarians. Only the barbarians use fury. But at the end of the day plus three max fury when I already have a hundred. You know, what's a hundred and three compared to a hundred? It's not that big of a deal. You gonna come to life? No? Fine. I will move on. I do want to try to explore this side first because it is the side off the road. If you're just trying to get through, you know, the road is pretty much the way to go. Bone pile. Ooh, lucky warrior belt. And another trap. I probably should just let me get hit by one of those one of these times. Are you still healing me, Templar? I don't see the numbers anymore. Here we go. Moon Clan! And Wood Ray. I like using the hammer on those guys because they go down a lot faster that way. When I have to take on multiple guys, though, it's not that big of a deal. Apparently, it's not that big of a deal with these guys either. <laughs> Alright, I should probably head over after this guy. The fields of misery are freaking huge. Is that why they're miserable? Because they're so damn big? Probably not. Dead villager! Money! I'll take money. Once again, I have little use for it, but I will take whatever I can get. 
die. Everything dies. Down it goes. Very nice. We can move on. Oh no, another savage beast. Holy crap, it costs a little bit of knockback there. Ah, uh, these guys are going to need to start using hammers on. And they just disappear? What the hell? That's kind of cool, but... How the hell does that work? Everybody else goes flying. See, look. Oh, these guys disappear too. Oh, not his head though. Oh, I lost his head. Sorry, buddy. Not going to get that back for you. <laughs> Still love how things fly. Throwing <laughs> log trap. Oh, I got it. Damn. Warrior belt of thorns. It's been a while since I've seen thorns. Not that great considering that I rarely get hit. Is that somebody's head? That is a horn from somebody's head. Good to know. Give me the log. And the dead villager. Damn it. Give me something good. We got... Okay. No. 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 No, 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 no. We're good. But I do have a lot for essences when we get back. And now that I'm level 11, I might have unlocked a few more things. You just have to be the right level in order to equip stuff. Uh, I don't. There's not really a strength requirement or dexterity requirement. I'm not sure how I feel about that. As long as you don't get it too early, I would think. But it, it, because they don't let you focus on strength, I guess that makes sense. We've made it to the forlorn farm. Oh, the forlorn farm! I remember the forlorn farm. Let me. Let me just clear out this area right here, and then we can go take on the Forlorn Farm. It's another kind of mini area, and if I remember right, there is an event here. Those are some sad-looking pumpkins or melons. What's up, Scarecrow? Where's the guy? Here's what a dead beast. This mighty beast. He didn't have anything in him. Oh! Leapers! I love the lightning! Lightning is awesome when I kill him. Once again, just that little shake. <laughs> Those scavengers trapped my poor wife and me down there for hours. I'm sure she'd love to meet you and thank you for your help. Am I gonna have to kill her? So down here to the farmer's cellar? Let's go down here. My love, this is the man who saved our farm. This is your wife? She appears unwell. That's to say the least. She has been ill of late, but my love will see her through. Don't think that's gonna I work. Must be going. Yes, let's just. Oh, she's nodded off. Ha! <laughs> Y'all love the sense of humor. You do. Let's just grab all that. At least he didn't say it was his mom. Ooh, vampiric again. Vampiric hand axe. Anything else for me to destroy? No. Vampiric! Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Hand axe. Not recommended. Not when you have scythes. Ooh, lightning. No. Okay, we're going to head to this side again. So, that's the farm. Not necessarily an event. I thought you got, like, an actual event credit for that. But you don't. It's just a little mini area where you can explore, explode cows. How did I not refer... How did I let that cow explode not reference that we were exploding cows? That is very important stuff. Die. Everything dies. Oh, he is healing me. Nice. He is still healing me. This place is huge. Get him! What honor? Damn it, everything dies so damn fast. I guess that is helpful. You know, it helps me go a little bit faster through this, but I am still looking for every nook and cranny because you never know when you're going to find something good. Of course, at the end of it, anytime you can get an essence out of it, it is worthwhile. Oh, God. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. I still need... Life heal, but I will take what I can. Guys, it's still going. I figured we'd reach the top by now. This whole session can't be the freaking fields of misery. This cave must be where the sword piece fell. 
And we need to go down there. So once again, I'm going to avoid it. The, the sword piece is down there. Hopefully we can find out who the stranger is this time. I'm not sure how much further along in the story it is. You do eventually get to find out who that fucker is. <laughs> uh, I like him. Like I said, I like him. Alright, protection. Damage reduced. Very nice. So after all that, you don't even follow the road? Road leads... No. Road leads out. But you don't want to go out. Oh. Actually, that was a spot where I believe I did some level grinding last time. Like I said, I, I had to do level grinding before because, uh, you know, I kind of rushed through some areas and didn't fully explore. But now that I'm fully exploring, not going to be an issue. But I, I ended up going through there like two or three times. Not that big of a deal. Through the farm again, another scarecrow. Ah, it did have gold in it. I've always wondered why th people hide gold in these most random places, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, the way forward is not the same as the way further in the plot. So let's fully explore the area, and then we can head down there. Oh, sheltered cottage! The I'm journal. not quite sure what all the fuss is about. Few farmers turn up dead, and everyone goes running for the hills. I've lived off these lands for 20 years, and I have not seen any bloodthirsty monsters running about. Hm. No reason I should leave a perfectly good harvest, said the misguided farmer. There he is. He died. He had a wanderer hat on him? <laughs> it's only for wizards anyway. I don't want that. Still do want that just in case. Fields of misery. And we should be pretty close here. Ah, oh, let's hear about Tristram Fields. The Tristram Fields are fair lands, fertile and temperate. Superstitious farmers kept away from them for quite a while after the fall of old Tristram. But time has persuaded them to abandon these ridiculous notions and take up the hoe and plow once more. Now they supply crops to both New Tristram and Wortham. Wortham, you say? The Khazara Den. Here we can find the sword, hopefully. Do you see a bloody chest? What's in the fucking chest? Nothing! Oh, we got zealots. A dark coven has formed in Tristram, and I fear that their superstitious violence may damn the whole region. I discovered very little during my eavesdropping, except that the word Magda was repeated several times in their chants. Oh well, now I journey to the safety of my home, where I may put these worries behind me. Mugda. Surely that's not important at all. That probably just means nothing. Kill him. <laughs> Two shots. <laughs> One shot's the next guy. <laughs> Good luck, cultists. Good luck. I found the glowing sh sword shard. Oh, we I'm gonna have to kill these guys. The will be here soon. It's time. Your zeal. This shard glows with the stranger's light. Who are you to take what is mine? Magda. I take the sword to its owner. Regardless, I have claimed it. I am Magda, and I lead this coven. The shard is mine. To hell with you, witch. Okay, kill her now. Very well. Let the games begin. No, she is too powerful for me to let her to, to, to do any damage to her right now. So, she sends her minions on me instead. Uh. Well fought, but you will never possess the next piece. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. She looks like a butterfly. So, that's not saying much. Alright, nothing in there. Let's take this, the shard. Take the sword piece back to Kane. We'll get there. First, we have to finish exploring this place. Hopefully, there's another treasure chest hiding down one of these passages. That would be the warp out. Hopefully, I don't... Actually, I... Well, no. We, we can go to the waypoint, right? There's a waypoint somewhere along the line back there. Dead Venture! Journal? I'm glad that fate has brought us together on this path. I'm Why is that? You fight with both honor and ferocity. I know that a pure soul must burn within you. That's one way to put put it. I would also say that I am incredibly devious. 
Damn it, you guys, after all that, I went through the effort of exploring everything, you didn't give me anything good. Not even something that I could turn into some kind of essence. I already forgot what it's called. What is it called? Subtle essence. It's very subtle. Okay. Uh, yeah, I fully explored that. Where's the waypoint? Oh my god, it's like all the way back! Ah, <gasps> oh, god, it's like the entire path back. I could just as easily run all the way back. Okay, through the farm again, exploding all the cows, looking at the dirty ass pumpkin. The, the reason that I keep peek, pe uh, bringing that up, the pumpkins, is because I was surfing the, the blizzard forums and I saw on this long ass post about how the pumpkins took him out of the game because they were ugly and the farmer would never be able to sell these pumpkins and blah 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 and so the game was awful because the pumpkins didn't look like tasty to him. I'm like, dude, you know nothing about melons. Melons can be very ugly but very tasty. In Asia, the king of all fruit. It's an ugly ass melon. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to you. Cain! I found a piece. Don't stab him, dude! Cain. A witch named Magda and her followers also seek the sword. I had to wrest the first piece from their grasp. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leia. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. And I have reached another checkpoint. Uh, Deckard has something to say about this. Magda's coven is a remnant of an ancient religion called the Triune that worshipped the prime evils as gods. They're the dead now. The prime evils are long dead. That's what I said. Who does the coven worship now? Me. The last two evils, Asmodan and Belial, what? remain. Who the hell and are they? If either of them are behind this coven, then our troubles are only beginning. That does not sound good at all. Who are these Asmodan and Belial? Tell me about the sword. This fragment is ancient and powerful. How do you know? Indeed, it feels familiar to me, though the rest is still unclear. This is the weapon of a true champion. If that is what I am, then my strength has gone with my memory. May both of them return to you in time. He's not that bad, to be honest with you. Eh, whatever. Sup, Leah? Magda knows where the next piece is, but her words are cryptic. She said it fell where only the ancients may tread. Yeah, where's that? That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leah. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leah, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. Ow. The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. And now Leah has joined the party. Mm, Leah. Don't like her character. Okay, but... Before we go, I need to deal with all of this, so I'll be right back. <laughs>